Hello and welcome back. Thanks so much for being here. If you're new, my name is Bella. I'm 16 years old and I live in a sailboat sailing the world with my family, bringing you guys along for the adventure. We're currently exploring the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. So let's get into it. There is finally enough wind and we've put the spinnaker back up and it's, yeah, it's filled with wind now. Before it was just flapping her all over, so now it is back up on the other side as we come around the corner. There's still not much wind, but nice little gentle sail along the Sea of Cortez. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. For better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. We're currently at the Isles of San Francisco, I think it's called, here in the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. There's like a little hike here, so Mum and I are going to go for a hike this morning. Let's go check out this hike. Alright guys, it's question time. It's that time where I answer one of your guys' questions that you've left in the comment section down below. So the one that I've randomly chosen out today is... Would you say most nights are easy to sleep or a rough seas common? Okay, so it can get pretty rough sometimes when we are trying to sleep. When there's either a big storm, big swell or we're on a passage. All of those things can be pretty rocky and rolly and it is pretty hard for me to sleep I don't know some people on the boat sleep fine but I do not like when we're rocking and rolling I like when we're in dead still water and that's when I sleep the best otherwise you're kind of just moving all over the place and you really it's really hard to sleep but luckily most of the anchorages we are in they are pretty flat because we try to choose the most protected ones and the right anchorages for the right wind or swell or whatever but there are those occasions when it is a bad anchorage. I hope that answered your question. Let's get back into the video. sailing along we just caught a massive beautiful mahi that will be dinner for the probably the next week we've got a fish oh it's flashing what is it massive mahi oh, sorry guys i didn't turn the ratchet off A lot of people wonder how we eat and get food when we're out on the ocean. 
Well, we have to catch our own food. That is how we survive out here on the ocean. Oh, look at that. Mum's already working on making some fish for breakfast. We've got some, what is it, Mum? It's mahi-mahi, just with salt and pepper and lime. Oh. And I'm gonna fry it in some butter. Super simple, but we're really hungry, so I'm just gonna boop, boop, before I bag it all up and put it in the freezer. Yes. It is 12 o'clock no when we are yeah. eating breakfast. Where? But that's just because we're slow people. Oh, we're slow, in. so this is some fish for breakfast. Oh. Can't get too much pressure than this. Here it is. Look at that. Fresh mahi. It's time for the taste taste tester. Is it any good? Mmm. So good. Straight from the sea to the pan to my mouth. Mm, 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 mm. How is it, Pad? Delicious. Beautiful anchorage here in the Sea of Cortez. I don't know where it is or what this place is called, but it's beautiful. Anyway, look at the rocks behind me. There is deep water under it, so we're gonna go climb and jump off. So that is gonna be fun. So let's go jump off some rocks. <laughs> If you can't already tell, we spend a lot of our time in the ocean. When the ocean around us is crystal clear blue, we just can't stay out of it. It's my favourite place to be, underneath the ocean, swimming with the fish. It's so quiet and peaceful. For a split second, nothing else in the world matters. I'm truly grateful for the life that I get to live. I would really cherish these moments forever. And I know this life wouldn't be possible without my mum and dad, so thank you for buying a boat all those years ago.
So you have made it all the way to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you next week because next week is a pretty fun one. Bye.